Hey guys, we're the ECB team, and today we're gonna to react on Eurovision 2024 entries. Let's get started. Let's, Let's get, started. get started. So this time it will be all about Austria. The country has once again opted the Eurovision entry as part of internal selection. The winner is Kalin, which is actually linked to the Eurovision bubble. She was a backing uh, stage singer at stand rehearsal and also choreograph of some entries at Junior Eurovision and Eurovision. She will perform the song We Will Rave. And it's a kind of a techno pop alternative EDM song, I would call it. So let's see whether we will rave or not. Starting with Vani, please. Yeah, uh, I'll definitely rave to this one. Uh, we have a girl, we have a singer. We have a song, we have an energy blast, we have a party, we have a rave party actually, we have, this is a golden pop song in my opinion, it can spin, I don't know, this, I think if she sells it correctly, this can blow the entire stage up, uh, I don't know, I love it, this is perfect entry for Austria, once again, uh, I really, really hope they don't screw up this time. And I'm really worried about this. But other than that, just a, um, an amazing, a very dancey, a very nostalgia. Reminds me a bit of uh, the Cascada song or something like that. Uh, the, the vibe, everything. So much dance, so much rollback. Wow, wow, wow. Love it. Awesome. Uh, George, please. Well, uh, Austria chose a very good um, a very good entry with 2,000 vibes. Uh, the, my favorite generation of music, the, my favorite decade. It's uh, a techno pop super dance song. Uh, and the fact that Kalin has experience in the Eurovision stages is also good. But I'm a bit um afraid of um how is she going to perform because uh it has to be really on topic the choreo the vocals uh it have it has to be blended this way this way that it won't be messed up I can see it being messed up unfortunately because uh the last performances of hers were not that strong. Uh, but okay, it's a party. We will see. Um, the song, though, has potential to finally make Austria return to the top 10. But it needs hard work because also it's not easy vocally. It has ch It's challenging. It looks simple because it's a genre we all know this year. And not that edgy. But yeah, it's still difficult. But I can see Austria doing uh, the top 10. But in the... Unlike occasion, which we don't wish at all, it gets ruined. It can even flop massively. Yeah, I have to agree with both of you. I'll, I'll try to be short. So on the, as a studio cut, it's a very good one. For, for me, by the way, it's more throwback to the 90s, to the yeah, techno music there when DJ like elaborated with some featured artists, let's say. Yeah. Even David Guetta in the starting of the very starting of the road uh, as a DJ, I mean, yeah, not a vocalist. Um, yeah, the beats are perfect. It's for me, it's like Euro Club uh, hit. So I have no clue what will be the place or achievement at Eurovision, but I can see it being played again and again at each Euro, Euro, Cafe, Euro Club for years from now. Uh, yeah, I hope Kalin will utilize it on the staging because, you know, such song also can be uh, challenging to even to stage. Uh, like for sure, not for sure, but, but I suppose or guess that she will have some backing dance dancers. We know that Kalin has a very strong record as a dancer, by the way, but still I don't want her to dance nonstop because she has to perform after all. And, you know, dancing too much can low grade the... Uh, level of vocal performance and for me i like to trade off more towards the singing so she can sing of course dance from time to time but not make it too much dancey 
Um, so, so this is how I guess it should be staged. Austria, it's not excellent at staging in general, I must say. Even uh, Thea and Selena last year, the song was amazing, but stage, I don't know, was very in the middle, let's say. Like the backdrop has made the majority of the work and even the camera angles were, were perfect. So like a very, you know, things that should be easy to fix. They haven't been fixed. And I think it's one of the most open things to happen this year. I can see Austria, as you said, top 10, but I can see it even not qualifying. Yeah, that hard. Because, you know, if the vocal won't be on point or if staging won't be there, it might be skipped by some of the voters. But yeah, it has some very good basis to start with because it's a very contagious song. And, and you know, it's it's a style like EDM in general, or techno. A lot of people like it. Also the young generation, so-called. But not only, you know, because... People who are 30, 40, and so on will have a good throwback to their childhood or teenage uh, years. So probably they will vote for it. So the basis is there. Just let's hope it will uh, be sustainable for there. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of the lyrics, by the way. All the ta da 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 but yeah, it's not that important. Okay. So now it's time to predict. Do you think Austria will qualify? Yes. Uh, yes, most most likely. Yeah, yeah I, I would say also most likely. That's a like something like twenty eighty, I would say, but more towards qualifying. And time to give scores, Vani. Nine point five. Wow, George. Eight point five. Uh, for me, it's an eight, a solid eight. By the way, I want to say that I really like what Austria is done at Eurovision, like the. I feel like their internal selection usually works good. And also like the the fact that they also like, uh, you know, examine the way the artists perform live because they have learned some lessons, let me say. So yeah, it goes on a very good direction. And yeah, I hope for the best for them. George, please. I also think that We Will Rave will be um, the hero of the 20s. Like hero of Charlotte Perelli is every, every year in Euro Club in Euro Village. We will ray from Kalin will be as well. Yeah, for Probably. sure. For sure. It's Euro Club on a very yeah. Euro Club song, yeah, exactly. Yeah, in each note, let's say. Okay, so Austria will perform semi-final two at position number six. Let's wish good luck to Kalin and Austria at Eurovision 2024. Guys, tell us in the comments below what do you think about We Will Rave about the Austrian song. Don't forget to give us a like. Subscribe to our channel right here below to make sure you're notified about each single video. And don't forget to visit us on ecb.com, YouTube, Spotify, Instagram, Twitter, and basically everywhere. Thank you, watch, watch. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.